guests today, vacation at the state capitol with behind the scenes tours, a legendary legislative eatery and world class art. Travel with AAA's Discover Oklahoma. And welcome to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and we are so pleased that our co-host this week is Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon. Welcome. Well, it's good to be with you, Jennifer. Of course, tourism has been a, kind of been your bag for a long time. Yes, ma'am. And it's so great to have you guys here in the Oklahoma Governor's Mansion. It's o Oklahoma's house. Right. It's uh, where my family and I have the opportunity and privilege to be able to live in wonderful, wonderful historic mansion built in 1928. 14,000 square feet, wow. beautiful art, history, and of course it's the place where the public can come and tour and see the house, learn more about Oklahoma, learn about uh, our past, our former governors, first families, and of course it's, it's just a, a beautiful piece of art within itself. So it's a great time to be able to live here and share it with my family. You want to take a closer look now, let our cameras go take a look oh, around? absolutely. All right, we'll do that. Funded by oil boom money and finished not long before the crash of 29, the governor's mansion was built of Carthage limestone to complement the nearby capital. It's Oklahoma's front door to the world where our state's chief executive not only lives but welcomes leaders from all over who will form an opinion of our state at least partly based on what they see here. We have a lot of very important people who will come here to the mansion that bring business and jobs and investment. But you know what? I think the most important people that come here are just our fellow Oklahomans. Just the opportunity to be a part of, of Oklahoma, its presence and its past, and, and to see the Governor's Mansion. So if you do visit, what should you look for? Well, there are so many great things to see in the Oklahoma Governor's Mansion. The dining room right behind me, all the seat covers have the various Indian tribes in the state. The rug that's behind me, the rug that's in the foyer, was developed by the same rug maker as the people that make the White House rug, so that's kind of very special. There's the striking replica of the 65-pound sterling silver punch bowl once used for diplomatic missions on board the USS Oklahoma, but fortunately taken off the ship before she was sunk at Pearl Harbor. The bowl's decorated with land run scenes, our state bird, and the figures of Sequoia and David Payne. And of course, no historic home would be complete without some kind of ghost tale. Over the years, there's been some talk about the ghost of Alfalfa Bill Murray, who was the governor, and about how people used to trip on the third step going up uh, to the second floor of the house. And I remember one time I was coming down that step and I actually did trip on it. So who knows whether the stories are true or not. Whatever Alfalfa Bill may think about it, this governor wants Oklahomans to know her home really belongs to them. I think it's very important that people understand this is the people of Oklahoma's house. It's not my house, it's the state of Oklahoma's house. And so we always encourage, especially our, our visitors, our children, to come take a tour to the house. The mansion is open for tours the first and third Wednesdays of the month. We'll link you to all the information you'll need to plan your visit if you just click on discoveroklahomatv.com. Well, we've seen the inside of the governor's mansion. Now let's talk about things in this area, places that you like to go to. Well, there are great places to go to around the capital area. Big Truck Topco's is yep. a great place. Mm -hmm. uh, Cuppies and Joe's, yeah. uh, Tucker's Hamburger's new place. Leo's Barbecue down the street. Old Ribs, favorite, yeah. Cakes. But one of my favorite places has been there for a long time is Jamil's right down the street. Wonderful steaks, hamburgers, uh, cabbage rolls, tabbouleh, yeah. hummus, pita bread, all those great things down the street. It's kind of one of those places that uh, you feel like a capital insider when you go to eat there because it is a place that lawmakers and legislators like to go to. We sent our Jeff Roberts, who's kind of a food connoisseur, to graze off the grill for us. Over the past four decades, Jamil's Steakhouse has seen it all. First dates, anniversary celebrations, celebrities, and especially legislators and lobbyists. And they've all left their mark on the steakhouse. You know, the steakhouse that just sits moments away from the state capitol. But Jamil's has also left an impression on its customers, too. Maybe that's why people seem to keep coming back for more at this unique Lebanese steakhouse. I mean, I see my regular customers every week or every two weeks. So it's 
what makes me stay in the business. But I, I enjoy so much and I'm so grateful for every friend that walks through and every customer that walks through our doors. We try to provide them the finest and dining experience that we can. And, uh, you know, uh, I have to watch how many people I say hi to because uh, I usually end up buying everybody a <laughs> beverage. <laughs> Now, during legislative session, Jamil's is crowded with lawmakers who make the capital area tick. In fact, I'd rank it among the top places in the state to eavesdrop, if you know what I mean. It's the gateway to the state capital, and it's a place where I, I would say some of the state laws of, that are presently enacted now were written upstairs at Jamil's. There has been more things that have gone on in this restaurant that I cannot even tell you about. I have to take the fifth. Now, Jamil's is open for lunch and dinner, and you've got to come here if you have that hankering for a great steak. Well, you know, we, we only serve the finest in Angus beef, and it's aged to our specifications. So 99% of the time, you're going to have a wonderful steak here. And, uh, you know, we stake our reputation on it, basically. Want a quick insider tip? Yes, it's legal in this kind. You can seriously make a meal of the complimentary sides. And for those of you who are kind of like me, I had to look that word up. That means F-R-E-E. -E. That's all included with every meal, the tabbouleh, the hummus, the cabbage roll, the relish tray, the crackers, the bologna, and the baked potato is all included in the meal. And I mean, from our chicken fried steak and our homemade gravy to, to, the, to the steaks, it's quite a variety of items to choose from. No matter what you order, you're gonna love it. But beyond food, for Greg, it's the tradition of the restaurant that makes it all worthwhile. You know what makes it special is when someone comes over here and says, do you know that this is where my mom and dad got engaged and my grandparents came here for their 40th wedding anniversary? Those are the special things that keep me ticking and uh, it makes it so special. At Jamil's Steakhouse near the state capitol, I'm Jeff Roberts. Jamil's is open seven days a week for your dining convenience. You can visit us at discoveroklahomatv.com for hours and a glance at menu specialties. Well, don't go anywhere yet because we're going to take a tour of our beautiful state capital, including a peek at the state's world-class art collection when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. I hope we didn't forget anything. I think we're all set. Hard to believe Megan is in college. Do you remember how she cried and cried when we dropped her off at kindergarten? We were both crying. Good thing we're only a few hours away. Last box. You can call us tomorrow. I will, Daddy. And one more thing. <laughs> You're gonna need these. No way. Are you kidding? <laughs> I get Mom's car? Okay, sweetheart, but you have to be careful. Now, I put the AAA insurance policy and the membership information in the glove box. Just in case anything should happen. <laughs> okay. I'm really glad we switched our auto insurance to AAA really saved us some money, not to mention peace of mind. It's nice knowing AAA will be there if a car ever breaks down, too. John, are those tears I see? No. Aww. AAA Auto Insurance, for the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a AAA agent nearest you. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the Governor's Mansion, just adjacent from our state capitol. In fact, that's our next stop. And Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon, it is a gorgeous place, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think it's one of the most beautiful state capitals in the United States. I mean, we're all very, very proud of it. Mm -hmm. I would encourage all Oklahomans to visit the capital. You, you know, sometimes I run into people who haven't been there in years or, or maybe have never been. And it's so beautiful, much more than That's it was 20 capital. years ago or so. Oh, it's gorgeous. It was mm -hmm. finished in 1917. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe it cost uh, $1.5 million <laughs> back when it was originally built. Beautiful dome that was added to the state capitol. And, of course, it's filled with all kinds of beautiful paintings and the history mm -hmm. of, about our people, our culture. And it's just a gorgeous building to see. Art and history you mentioned, and there is so much of both to see in our state capitol. We sent Dino Lolly to check it out, and he got a crash course in both. Someone once said of painting, quote, after the first brush stroke, the canvas assumes a life of its own. At this point, you become both governor and spectator to your own event. Okay, you can't be governor right now, that job is taken, but you can be a spectator to an event known as touring the Capitol. Yes, some go for the politics, some go see the legislature while in session, but all can take in the beauty that lies within. Well, what's unique about the Capitol is that we have three different um, streams or collections of artwork going on. 
The permanent collection, which is housed all throughout the public spaces in the Capitol, tells the story of Oklahoma history. And that's all the way through the Capitol with those significant murals and the sculptures, everything like that. The state art collection, which is housed in the Betty Price Gallery, is works of significant artists who, have, who are from Oklahoma or who have lived or were educated in Oklahoma. And then the Northeast and Governor's Gallery, um, those three galleries rotate every 60 days and they show the work of current art being made by Oklahoma artists. The state art collection Allison mentioned was established in the 70s and they've been collecting artwork since then. Now the Betty Price Gallery is not part of the regular tour, but while you're here, you do need to come in and see the array of different mediums housed here. Another fascinating element that's been added is an online opportunity to enhance one's love for what's on display. It's called Teaching with Capital Art. In 2009, we started developing um, uh, educational resources that are um, accessible from our, um, our website. And right now we're focused on the permanent collection, which is, like I said, the um, Oklahoma history. And um, both students in Oklahoma schools can definitely benefit from this, teachers and students, because we offer money for them to come here, field trips, we offer act classroom activities, things like that. But it's also for um, any visitor to the Capitol can go online and they can learn about different parts of the painting. And just as there are different parts of a painting, there's so many parts to the tour. People are always happy with the amount of information that's provided. It starts at the Great Seal, which tells a little bit about our history, and it goes up from there. Everything from the architect's drawings of the Capitol to the Guardian statue to all the paintings, of course, particularly the four on the second floor rotunda. But it's not only about the beauty, but also about our interesting history. I'm always in awe when I see our state's constitution. Again, a little bit of history of the Constitutional Convention and uh, some information about the Constitution itself, uh, the Supreme Court chamber, and uh, talk about history and uh, the beauty of that particular room and about the court itself. It's been said that painting is a way of communicating thoughts. We may not talk about it, we may not analyze it, but we do indeed feel it. And when you take a tour of our capital and learn about our fascinating history and see the great works of art, you can truly feel just how bright our future really is. At the State Capitol, I'm Dean O'Lally. Of course, with your offices being inside the State Capitol, you're surrounded by that beauty all day long, and, and really it's beautiful from the ground floor to the top of the dome. Absolutely. In fact, on the top of the dome of the Capitol is a absolutely stunning sculpture called The Guardian mm -hmm. that former Senator Kelly Haney sculpted years ago and was put on top of the Capitol. And you know, the interesting part about The Guardian, it faces the east, mm -hmm. which is a, a wonderful Indian tradition. And it's just a beautiful sight to see, especially when you're driving up to the Capitol, see that beautiful sculpture on top. We sent Adam Beatty out to meet Kelly Haney, former state senator and Native American artist who created it, to find out what this high elevation artist, what makes him tick. How's it going, Oklahomies? The impressive figure that stands before you is a replica of The Guardian by Oklahoma artist Enoch Kelly Haney. The real one is 22 feet tall and resides atop the Capitol building in Oklahoma City. Not only is this guy a talented sculptor, but he's also a painter, former state legislator, and former chief of the Seminole Nation. We sat down at his home in Norman to talk about the process of getting a 22-foot tall sculpture on top of a dome that's on top of the Capitol building. First of all, there is a decision by an arts committee to put a sculpture on top of the Capitol because at the time the dome was being constructed. And um, the original design called for a sculpture. Um, Oklahoma artists were selected or asked to submit portfolios and I did and I was one of either five or six who was selected uh, to submit a final design for the, uh, uh, for the sculpture. The tricky thing about, about that is they were looking for quote a generic Indian which means in a way that makes sense in the sense that we have 39 federally recognized tribes in Oklahoma it would be hard just to get one particular tribe. It, it doesn't represent all. And uh, what I did was to choose a time in the history of Native people in America prior to the coming of the European, when there were no influences by any other culture except the natives here. So everything on the Guardian then became uh, native to this land. The beadwork, earrings, everything. 
we took our names off, they asked us to scratch our names off. And so it was what they call a blind competition. And uh, once they did that, mine was selected. And um, 10 months later, it was on top of the state capitol. We get a nice close-up look of it, you know, because right. we, we don't get to see it. On top. Yeah, on top uh, of the capitol. We were talking earlier about my armature for the feathers uh -huh. was paper clips. So they're paper clips. <laughs> yeah, paper clips, and I put clay around it, like that, and, yeah. and these, and the circle here, I've got the circle with a with a can of food of some sort, and do that, and That's so great. forth. And and my favorite uh, uh, tool is my toothpick. I want to thank Kelly for sitting down to talk That's with us in his home. Way. If you want to find out more about Kelly, check out his website at www.kellyhaney.com. For Discover Oklahoma, I'm Adam Beatty. When we come back, we're going to check out the governor's hometown. Tourism in the town that grew a governor when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returned. Hey, how's Kara doing? Great. Absolutely loves being in college. And Sam? Just started driving. Mm, watch out. Yeah, we just added him to our AAA membership. Smart move. I'm just glad we have good insurance. What do you guys use? We switched over to AAA auto insurance. With another driver in the house, it just made sense to check out pricing. AAA saved us a ton. I didn't know they had insurance, too. Yeah, auto home and life. Remember that time when we snuck Dad's car out and got that flat? Here they go again. Triple so, A came and fixed it, and the folks never found out. Found out what? Nothing, Dad. Talking about the time you two snuck the car out while we were gone. You, you knew? Well, of course. Why do you think Mom and I added you girls to our AAA membership? Never told you I always checked the odometer, did I? Oh, great idea. Thanks, Grandpa. AAA Insurance, for the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a AAA agent nearest to you. Well, it's our Governor Fallon World Tour. Now we're headed for your hometown of Tecumseh. It's a great town, Tecumseh. I grew up there. Of course, had a wonderful quality of life there. Still have relatives that live in Tecumseh, and I was just there recently, and I was able to be the Grand Marshal of the Frontier Days Parade. It's a lot of fun. Well, we're headed there next. Our Shell Wagner is going to pay tribute to the town that produced you. Tecumseh is hometown to around 6,500 people, among them Oklahoma's 27th governor and first ever woman governor, Mary Fallon. It's easy to settle into the vibe of this community that grew a governor. City parks are a priority here, with recent renovations for anyone wishing to skate or stroll. But to truly get your Tecumseh on, head out past the pavement to Quail Ridge Hunting and Sporting Clays. This is where the governor comes to relieve gubernatorial stress, and you can do the same, hunting pheasant, quail, checkers, and Whoa. more my speed, sporting clays. Sporting clays is golf with a shotgun. Okay. Pull. <gasps> got I it. got it! <laughs> I really got it! <laughs> Whether or not you're savvy with a shotgun, Quail Ridge can be your retreat in the woods. Choose from among the cozy cabins, each with heat and air, private bath, and most importantly, accommodations for porch sitting. The southeast region gets really pretty, and a, and a day like today is just beautiful. There's also a ginormous bunkhouse boasting a full kitchen, making Quail Ridge perfect for reunions, chick trips, and boys weekends. After a day in nature, if you don't feel like cooking, cruise on into Tecumseh's historic downtown, which holds lots of local dining options. Now I'm told when Governor Fallon is here in her hometown of Tecumseh and she gets a craving for Italian food, there's one place she always goes, Gliori. Ian Gliori and his wife Phyllis relocated to Tecumseh years ago, and when they did, Ian made sure to pack along his great-grandmother's authentic Italian recipes that have been passed down through the generations. I used to help my mom a lot when I was a kid, and she said when I was graduating high school that I should go be a cook. And I was like, nah, I don't want to be a cook. I'm like, well, pfft, what am I going to do that for? But here I am, a cook and I, an owner, and I uh, really love it. I should have taken her advice uh, 30 years ago. One taste of Ian's red sauce, and you'll be glad he finally got around to taking his mom's advice. It's the secret to his spaghetti and meatballs. But there's also luscious lasagna and pizza with a crust made from scratch. And I predict you'll find your thoughts drifting back to these buttery breadsticks long after you've left the restaurant. Top off your meal with one of Gliori's amazing desserts. 
The atmosphere here is welcoming, nurturing, supportive, a reflection of this small town as a whole, because here, your dreams are not limited by the population census, but are instead backed by an extended family more than 6,000 members strong. And with that, you really can be anything you could ever dream of becoming. In Tecumseh, I'm Shell Wagner. Travelok.com can point you to lots of family fun in the Tecumseh area. Just give us a click to start planning. And don't go away because we have more places on our list that you'll want to visit in Oklahoma. Specifically, some destinations tucked in and around our state capital when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns in just two short minutes. Thanks for all your help. Hey, babe, what you doing? Oh, I just switched our insurance over to AAA. Why? We've been with our guys for years. I know, but I met with the agent, and she showed me how AAA could match our coverage and save us money by bundling our home and auto insurance. Really? Well, did we get a discount? I mean, we've been with those guys for years. Yes. And with the extra money we saved, I was thinking we could take that second honeymoon we've always talked about. Hey, I am all about that. So, with all the travel discounts we get for being AAA Oklahoma members... Well, I do have some vacation time I need to take. Oh, good, because our room is right on the ocean. You already booked it. I did. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Nothing. We're just getting some dinner started. When are you leaving? AAA Insurance, for the ones that matter most to you. Give us a call today or talk to a AAA agent nearest to you. Welcome back. AAA Oklahoma makes this show possible and does a lot of other great things around our state. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hello, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. If you're like me, you love planning your next vacation. Whether you like the sandy beaches of Florida, the cool mountain air of Colorado, or an exotic cruise in the Caribbean, our AAA Oklahoma travel experts can make your dream vacation come true. They'll help you find the best deals on airfare, hotels, car rentals, resorts, and restaurants. Plus, if you plan to book your trip online, AAA can provide tips on how to make sure your reservations and your personal information remain secure. Look, everybody needs a little getaway now and then, so if you're looking for some hot deals on some fun places to explore, out of state or out of the country, or if you want to staycation at one of the many first-class resorts or parks right here in Oklahoma, call our AAA Oklahoma travel experts or visit us online at AAA.com today. Until next time, may the road lead you to exciting new discoveries. Whether it's insurance, travel, or peace of mind on the road, think AAA every day. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. As we said, we're coming to you from the Governor's Mansion near Northeast 23rd and Lincoln in Oklahoma City, and you don't have to travel far for uh, all kinds of tourism destinations. Oh, there's so much to do right around the Capitol Complex, so I invite everybody to come down and see the Capitol area. The neighborhood surrounding our state capitol tells the story of us perhaps better than any other single locale. And even if you're a local, it's fun to be a tourist in your own hometown. At the Oklahoma History Center, more than 2,000 exhibits and 50 topics cover our state's rich past. Located on 18 acres across from the capitol, this self-guided interactive museum shows the adventurous side of settling our state. For a real taste of the territorial, park your wagon at the Harn Family Homestead, a private museum on actual land-run property once owned by the Harn Family. With its hands-on learning approach aimed at children, the original Victorian home, a refurbished one-room schoolhouse, and a territorial farm outfit are a living classroom. Just down the block, the Jim Thorpe Museum and Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame offers a look at a different group of people who shaped history, the amazing athletes that hail from our state. Named after the legendary athlete, the museum walks you through, or more accurately, sprints you through the life and career of Jim Thorpe and showcases memorabilia from the recipients of the Jim Thorpe Award. So next time you're in a touristy mood, punch Lincoln Boulevard into your GPS to soak in well over a hundred years of history in one day. Well, that's our show for this weekend. It's been so much fun doing this show with you, Governor Fallon. We appreciate you taking the time to join us. Well, Jennifer, it's been wonderful having you here at the Oklahoma Governor's Mansion talking about the state capitol complex, the great state of Oklahoma, and I would just encourage all Oklahomans to go discover Oklahoma. Next week, we'll wine and dine you from a tranquil urban vineyard to sizzling steaks on the high plains and treats from an old-fashioned small-town soda fountain. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. <laughs>